All right, we're here with Greg Bourne from Panasonic uh, to talk about a new feature that you guys are adding to all your cameras in relation to metadata. That's correct. This P2 wireless metadata, it does not work on every one of our P2 cameras, but the higher end cameras are going to support this feature. Uh, it's a very convenient way to work directly with the camera wirelessly to add metadata prior to the shoot and even to change metadata and add to it during the shoot while you're while you're actually rolling it has an additional feature and that is the ability to do it after the fact which which I'll get into in just a moment uh, we have right here a screen on a uh, very compact PC the system will also work with um, iTouch and iPhone so it's not limited to a PC application in fact it's not an application at all you have a web browser running on either of those devices the camera itself acts as a web server. This page that you see here is actually broadcast from the camera. Uh, the, sir, the, the limit of the stuff on the camera is nothing more than a, uh, than a uh, USB notebook type uh, wireless adapter here. This is an off-the-shelf part. Uh, they've extended it up to here. The factory says they will have a real bracket for this at some point. Um, and the fact that it can talk Wi-Fi is real important uh, because we can have more than one device talking to the camera at the same time. Whereas if it were Bluetooth or something like that, you'd have a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship. Uh, so this screen here, this is they, they created a couple different screens, one for the iTouch. I don't have the iTouch here to show you that screen. Uh, but this one is the PC uh, screen. And over here, you'll see the uh, thumbnails. Uh, from the, directly broadcast from the camera. This list is the normal uh, metadata that we carry uh, in the camera that we've been doing for the last basically five years. We've had this sort of a table. Uh, it's always been kind of tedious to put that data into the camera previously. You had to either push a lot of buttons on the camera or you had to load it onto an SD card and then upload it into the camera. This allows you to just type it in dump it into the camera, and now that metadata, such as the shooter name, uh, the, the location, variety of things, uh, can be loaded in here. Over on this side, we're taking advantage of a feature in the camera called Text Memo. Text Memo uh, was, always, was in the camera for the last couple of years. The ability was to mark a location within a clip at a time, specific time code location, and then add text to that. Well, the marking of the location was certainly easy in those days, but adding the text was something that was being done after the fact and was always cumbersome. Now I can go down here and I could type text into this area here and press a button and it will go into the camera. Or I can pre-build, in this case, we have the word goal, foul. I, there's, this is set up for soccer, but you could put anything you want. I had in here earlier, you know, good take, bad shot, uh, retake sound cue, effects cue, things like that would be things I would use in a production shoot perhaps. And all you do is tap that button and it marks that location within the clip up to 99 marks within any given clip. What would happen normally is this would play back the proxy in this window right here. So in other words, let's say you were, uh, you were going to mark the point at which somebody comes in a door in a scene and you wanted to make sure you could get to that spot because you're going to add an effect there or something. Uh, but you didn't mark it. You missed marking it. I can play the proxy back and mark it there and it's identical to what would happen if I had marked it while it was actually happening live. It would go back, it would mark the proxy and the original metadata. It's in the XML file and now I have that mark in there to use for future uses. Um, so is there an expected date uh, to get this uh, product uh, shipping, or is there a price? Later this year, price hasn't been announced yet. It'll be a firmware upgrade to the camera, just like the current firmware, uh, firmware upgrades available online, but this will be a chargeable firmware upgrade. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, uh, Greg and uh, Steve, for uh, spending some uh, time with us uh, this afternoon. Uh, again, for Tech Media Planet on the show floor at NAB09, I'm Steve Barris.